Pikes Peak Ascent Week. What are you thinking? Rock and roll time? To crush. Are we ready to ready rock and ready roll? Ready in the barn? Good morning to YouTube. Do, 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 do. How you doing? All right, I'm running a little late, so I got to hustle here, grabbing my running stuff for the day. I'm going to take out the New Balance Beacon 2s for my run today. Excited to take them back out. Nice, easy, three miles. Um, all right, let's rock and roll. Come on now. Bum, 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 bum. Oh. <sighs> All right, everyone, so I am on my way to my last massage before the race. And yeah, I'll throw it in there. Another one, tip of the day, I wouldn't necessarily get a massage um, like the day, definitely not the day before or even two days before a big race. Uh, massage, depending on the type of massage you're getting, it could actually make you a little sore, you know, if the, if the masseuse is really digging in there. So I am, let's see, four days out. No, 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 no. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Yeah, basically four days out from Pikes Peak. So this is perfect enough time to let the legs absorb the massage and then, frankly, kind of recover from the massage. Anyway, that's just a little tip of the day. I wouldn't get a massage the day or even two days before. All right, just got to find a parking spot. I think, is this right? Yeah, perfect. All right. See you in about thir 45 minutes. And bada bing, bada boom, feeling good. Remember, I'm trying to add one point to the freshness scale every single day. So that massage is part of the process to get to a 10. I wanna be at a 10 definitely by Friday, the day before the race, but uh, if it happens Thursday, that's great. And let's see, today's Tuesday. So when you're watching this, it's Wednesday, but that's the goal one point per day to get the legs fresh and after this i'll head to the pool head to the gym to stretch more and roll out more and uh, yeah just continue to do some math on that freshness scale oh yeah oh just putting on the beacons how are you doing pretty good, how are you? good man yeah, doing well doing well i'm at washington park just talking to myself on the side of the road I'm not talking to myself, I'm talking to you, but people always are like, what is this guy doing? It's funny, it's funny, but I know you're out there listening and I appreciate that. Uh, but, so I'm doing three miles today, nice and easy, uh, you know, 8.45 to nine minute pace. And then again, tomorrow I'll pick up the pace a little bit, uh, a little more up, upbeat, up tempo, not a tempo pace, but a more up tempo along with some strides tomorrow. Cause again, I don't want the legs to fall asleep. I'm not going to film today. Just going to go bop along. Let's go bop along. All right, everyone. Just getting out of the pool. Got the jog done. Three miles, 5K, 840 a mile. And here's the situation. Uh, I, w I wanted to run, I think I already mentioned, between 845 and nine minute pace. I ended up at 840 and it was difficult to stay there. Like my I was ready to I, I was ready to go faster, so this is a good sign. Uh, the legs, it appears, are starting to really freshen up. And in the pool today, I noticed a tremendous amount of range of motion, meaning my legs were. I was just doing aqua jogging. My legs were cutting through the water with less effort. Uh, so this is good. I still have just a smidge of ah, yeah, a little bit of soreness from Sunday's uh, 5K. Uh, 1K repeats uh, five times, just a little bit. And I suspect that by tomorrow morning, all that, it's just a little bit of soreness in my right quad that that will be gone. So just a quick update, just keep keeping you guys in the loop as we, as we journey onward. So anyway, I'm excited. It was just a distinct shift. I noticed immediately, excuse me, I noticed immediately as, uh, as I was in the pool, like, okay, the legs are moving 
with ease right now, and that's what I want. That's what I want. All right. Super psych. I forgot. I gotta go get an energy, uh, some energy gels for the race. I'm I'm out of the spring energy. That's what I'm gonna use during the Pikes Peak ascent. Uh, preferably the peanut butter flavored ones. I love them. I love them. All right, into sprouts. This is, this is why Amazon has taken over the world. That's the second grocery store I've gone to that does not have energy gels. So I'll just order, I'll just get them online you know, on Amazon and have them, you know, shipped quickly to the house. It's like, what are you gonna do? You gotta be, you gotta be efficient in this world. All right, here we go. They, they just didn't have them, didn't have them. First full day of school. So good. Come on in. Come on in. Oh yeah. Yeah, you close that. I had that open for so they could see. You guys pull up. High five. Did you get a treat after school? Yeah. Also, I got a treat at school. Are you lucky duck? I just put it in the fridge. Oh yum. Yum. Oh, let's see yeah, it. Oh, no. Oh, this is Joseph. Oh, what'd you make in there, buddy? No, John. What Guys, oh, I'll close my eyes, and it's a real good idea just to chill out. Yeah. And you can oh, put your geez. jammies. I can bring you one. A sheep. Oh, my goodness. Good that. coloring. Sum Agnus. Latin. Oh, my goodness. You're amazing, buddy. Sum Agnus and Mihi Nomen Es Leo. Oh, is that, do you, know what the, do you know what that means? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, Kathy, you go this. Good times. All right, everyone, we are back on date night. True love, how you doing? YouTube hasn't seen you in a while. Oh, hello. And uh, I'm hot. It's hot and dead. Like I said earlier, I let them know it is hot in Denver right now. But we are off to date night on Pike Speak Ascent Week. What are you thinking? Rock and roll time? To crush. Are we he ready to rock ready. and roll? Hey, he's in the barn! Come on, hey, he's in the barn. Let's do this! Let's do this. It's gonna be fun. I love that he can't go up and watch, because this is gonna be my first year going up. Yeah. And, because the kids were so little before, I don't That's remember why. Yeah. But anyway, so. It's gonna be good. But, we're still, I told him I'm gonna scream loud enough, he'll be able to hear me. Oh, wow. wow. <laughs> From the top! True love doesn't mess around. So, all right, we are off to Whole Foods to get a little, yeah. little grub. Date now. We go on date night every Tuesday. My mom watches the boys. It's amazing. So. Every Tuesday. Since we first yeah. Hello. Good luck. Okay. Well, I'm the lucky one. Thanks, I'm the lucky one. All right. I'll put it up with. Hello, sir. Uh -oh. High five. Always a good choice. Whole Foods, so many options. Soups, sandwiches, dessert. Sushi, S ramen, sushi, salad bar, mm. sandwich bar, dessert for place. Boom. Mm. Butter my bread, butter my bread. Butter my bread. And here we go, here we go. All right, another day down before the Pikes Peak Ascent, back from date night. Obviously, True Love is excited for the race. Oh, 
I'm not excited yet. I'm, I'm always excited, but I'm not like, you know, it's still three or four days away. So I got to give it time, give it time, stay calm, stay relaxed. And on that note, actually about staying calm, I want to give you a couple updates. Uh, let's see. Okay. First of all, I'm racing the Pikes Peak Ascent on Saturday, 7 a.m. I'm not racing the Pikes Peak Marathon, which is Sunday, 7 a.m. So I'm not racing against Killian and Andy Wacker and uh, Sage Canaday. They're doing the marathon. I will do the marathon someday. Frankly, I'll probably do it when I'm a little older and a little slower because it's uh, hard on your body. I just, I don't know, running 13 miles as fast as possible downhill isn't exactly appealing to me right now. I like to go uphill. So I will be racing against Joe Gray and many other great runners Saturday morning. Just want to clarify that. Uh, but I will be there Sunday filming. You better believe it as much as I possibly can because I don't think I can get to the top. Basically, once you leave the starting line, you're kind of in no man's land. Like, you don't really see people for quite some time until the aid station. So that's one update. And then uh, what was the upper, other update? Oh, yeah, staying calm. What was one of my tips for how I stay calm before a peak race? I focus, meaning I set, where is it? I set the smartphone down. Uh, so a lot, I get a lot of messages every day on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, all sorts of questions about training and I love it. So if you haven't heard from me in a while, it's only because on Facebook as well, it's only because I'm, I'm checking out. I will reply to you next week once the race is done. Don't worry, I love you. I just am trying to focus on the race. But a lot of questions that are coming in right now are about the uh, recovery items that I'm using, about my running equipment during the summertime, our running gear, I should say. And it is all, I just wanna point out for all the new subscribers, a lot of you already know this, but it's all available from Amazon if you're an Amazon shopper now always go support your local running shoe shop but if you don't have a shop around you sometimes you have to go online so if you want to buy a foot log to massage your foot a Lumi foot spray to spray inside your shoes uh, to make them smell good uh, this trigger point here it is this trigger point foam roller uh, it's all available down below in the description of every single vlog from Amazon so just wanted to make that clear because I am getting a lot of questions, even not these sunglasses, but my Smith sunglasses, the big ones that I like to race in, they are available down below as well. In my halo headband, actually I have some new ones arriving tomorrow from Amazon, so I'm excited about that. All right, I love you guys and oh, it's a good day, good day. Okay, question of the day, uh, keyword, massage. Question of the day, who gets um, athletic massages? So not the feel good massages that just kind of, you know, make you feel good. I'm talking about the massages that dig in a little bit and work out the knots and the kinks out of your legs. So who gets them? If you do get athletic massages, do you feel like, what is your opinion on them? Obviously you probably like them if you're getting them. Uh, or the other question uh, that you can answer is, are you interested in massages and what they do for your legs uh, for helping with recovery and prepping for big races, big workouts, et cetera, et cetera. And I realize massages cost money, but when you begin to get in a position where you have enough money to afford them, I am in the position now that I'm like, okay, this is an action item that I can take on a weekly basis to make sure my legs are ready to go as best as possible when I want them to go, when I want my legs to go fast. So that's what I'm up to with massages. That's the question of the day. Thanks for being here. Okay, uh, on the right and the left, two old running vlogs from 2018. One of them is a race and one of them is just a long adventure run up in the mountains. I think you'll enjoy both of them if you want to dig further into the archive. All right, that's all for today. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. See beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.